In this video, I wanted to introduce something I created many years ago, but at the time I did not really have any online presence or was into making videos to explain things. I kind of use this as something as a tool when I do breadboard exercises, but I realized if no one's seen it before, it might be kind of a surprise to see something like this. About three years ago, I had made a few small short videos where I was showing off some circuits I had made on breadboards. These at the time were just shot from my cell phone camera and I did not have any audio or music and they weren't very entertaining. They just showed something I did. So here we see a breadboard. Uh, I'm not sure what I was building here, but it doesn't matter right now. Uh, in this case, I was setting up little LED indicators to show the state or status of something, like if a microcontroller or a digital logic signal was turning something on or off. When you're building things, you want to be able to see uh, the status, how things are actually working. My main pet peeve of breadboarding is spending time to wire up these little LEDs and their resistors on the breadboard. Not only does it take a lot of time, I find the process to be very error prone, and I spend a lot of time troubleshooting and testing these little LED indicators to make sure that I have wired them up and they actually function as they're supposed to. Because there's nothing worse than trying to troubleshoot something when the testing tool that you use to troubleshoot is not working itself. What I came up with was to make a small module that can just be plugged into a breadboard. The module contains small transistors and resistors to act as buffers to drive small LEDs. In this case, I made a module that contains eight LEDs. This is because a lot of the microcontroller work I was doing at the time happens to want to have eight LEDs to show like an eight bit data bus. Or if I have more like 16 bits for an address bus, I can just put two modules side by side. Here is a quick example of what I mean. Simply plug the module into the breadboard, connect it to power and ground, and then apply data pin. For me, building little LED modules for breadboards is not something new. In this case, this is something I built back in the late 1990s when I was doing microprocessor interfacing at university. Here, it's a small module that stacks up vertically so it has a very small footprint on the breadboard to give me 16 different LEDs. I used the 74LS373 as a buffer as it was something that worked well with the TTL logic that we were working with in our labs. Um, it was very important as we had very limited breadboard to work on and spending time to wire up and make sure that your test LEDs for every little signal in your complicated circuit actually worked was very time consuming and very error prone. The current generation of my breadboard module uses a four sided PCB. This allows me to put the components very densely packed on both sides. The result is a very low profile and easy to handle module. I still have eight LEDs on it, but as you can see, it's very easy just to add many of these modules to a board if you need more indicators. That's all I have for now. I have my schematics for the current generation breadboard module up on my GitHub page. I'll put the link to the GitHub project in the comments, so you're welcome to check it out if that's something that interests you. As usual, thank you for watching. 